Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. We're going to do another page in this book here. And I started a little bit of it. I am limiting myself to this palette. These are polychromos and I'm going to do the whole page in these colors. <laughs> it might be a little, little hard, but I'm going to do it anyway because I like this combination and I want to see what it would look like all done in this color. So I do have one white Prismacolor just to add some highlights to the coloring. Uh, then we have Light Flesh, which is 132, Black, 199, Matter, which is 142, Medium Flesh, 131, and Rose Carmine, which is 124. I will leave those in the uh, list down below. And like I said, I have done two little, uh, well, one mushroom and one little hat. So that's kind of what I'm going after in these tones. So I will go ahead and put the camera down and move a few things so we can actually get a good look at this. And then I will turn on the light and we will color in a few of these items. See you in a bit. Okay, we're going to work on this little mushroom right here. Hopefully you won't hear too much noise in the background. I do have a window open and the schools have been canceled around this area so all the children are in their backyards. And well, you know what happens when kids get out to play. They kind of make some noise. <laughs> so if you hear uh, screaming or yelling or anything that would be kids in the back. Okay, so this one is uh, the matter and I'm just going to kind of put it in the darkest areas here. I wanted to see how these pencils worked on this paper. I don't get these out terribly often. Um, they tend to hurt my hands, so or my wrist I should say. But I figured if I limited myself to a very small bunch of color here, I wouldn't um, have too much problem. Okay, so we're just kind of putting it down in some spots, mostly in the darkest areas. And I'm going to put some heavy pressure on the lowest and the highest in the dark parts. Okay, then we're going to go in with, you know, figure out how to read these ones, the um, Rose Carmine. And just put that right on top. Then we're going to go in with the medium flesh on top and bring that up a little further. So I hope you're all doing well. Okay, we'll just bring that up. Then we're going to go in with the uh, light flesh, going over everything again and pulling that up even further, but not all the way. We're going to leave a little space for some white. So we're going to pull in the Prismacolor and we're just going to go over the white area there. Ok, 
And to blend everybody together. Just in the spaces I want. Then we're going to go back over them. We're going to take the black. I guess I should show you the color there. The black one. And we're going to go over the black areas. Back over with the um, matter. Pencils rolling. Go in with the light flesh. Okay, while we're here, we are going to put some of that coming down the little stem here. Um, medium flash. of the rose carmine. And a tiny bit of the uh, matter just on the edge here. And depending on how much black you put in or how much shading you put in is going to change each one of these mushrooms a little bit. Okay, so there we have one. Uh, I'll do the stem on this little guy over here too since I did the top. So we're just going in with the light flesh. the medium flash the rose and the matter Tiny bit of the black. Then 
there we've got two mushrooms <laughs> we might as well finish this little guy here I'm gonna go in with the um, light flesh and we're gonna cover his skin he has no face and I'm assuming he has tights on or very tight pants <laughs> okay I'm going with the um, medium flesh and just give him some shadowed areas little top is going to be the dark color so we go in with matter and darken that up we're going to do the same thing with his tights here pants by making him tight so <laughs> what's kind of fun about doing these kind of pictures when you're um, just using the certain colors you can bring your color right down into the other thing you're coloring because they are the same colors in case you didn't get it close enough there or you don't want to be so this is the rose sorry just going to go around there and bring it up a little further then we're going to come in here with white but like I was saying you could just bring that color down in like this little spot didn't get colored enough and if I didn't get close enough to his little behind there just bring the color up a little closer okay the prism of white and we're just going to go around and blend that up so the white will pick up that color and bring it up into those areas bring in the black go over the lines and if you want to darken any areas go ahead and use that to do so go back over with the matter that I have to sharpen just darken that up a little bit more needed to be a little darker so I'm just going to go over it it's not going to be quite as dark as it could be because the white is already there and if we want to add a little bit more white back we just do I have to go up his arm because I'm getting red in there too <laughs> okay 
Okay. Cute. Uh, we'll do the grass blades down here. Let's see. This is the uh, matter. We're going to start at the top. And go up from the bottom on some, like the dented areas. We'll go down with that. And then we'll go in with, I should just sharpen all of these because those are kind of thin. This is the, um, the rose. I should have sharpened all of these. <laughs> Sorry. You may have to listen to me sharpen. Okay, this is the medium flesh. flesh. the tips. We're just going to add a little black. And if you get too much black, just go over it with the matter again. So that's what the grass will look like. It'll mix between, say, these little ones in the background or the ones up front. We might put a little more of the light color in them. So that was the light flesh, medium flesh, me going out of the lines. <laughs> Add in the matter at the tip. Maybe down here. It's all up to you what you want to see on your picture. But that's just basically what I'm going to go with. I'm going to put a little white right there to lighten that one up a little bit. Maybe here and there on the back ones too. All depends how you feel. little black on the tip. Then go back in with the matter to cover up the black a bit. And if you have an eraser that actually has batteries in it, you can get rid of the little line that you went out of line with. <laughs> It's not a top priority for our shopping at the moment is to get batteries, so I'm just using what I can use on the desk. All right, um, let's do another mushroom. We'll do this uh, tall one up here. And it's basically the same. We're going to go in with a matter color, the darkest. Down on the bottom. And under her. Gonna kind of bring some lines down, leave that alone. Just 
to where that crease comes up. Color kind of in this um, really dark area here. Pull the lines up so our mushrooms have some crackles in them. Uh, darkest color is the rose and we're just gonna go over those areas with it medium flesh light flesh and then we'll bring in the white There we go. Go back over it with any colors that you want to darken up. Bring in the black. Bring up those lines a little more if you want. Bring some down too. The other mushrooms, if you notice the uh, little guys that we did down here have some dots. You can put those in too if you like. Just deepen that color up there. It's your mushroom. You can do whatever you want to with it. The edges here I want to darken up the red, so I'm just going to add it in there. And then just pull the matter right back in and pull the black up. We're going to come down the side of the mushroom with the matter first. Oh, can you get the whole mushroom in there? Go in with the rose. medium flesh and then the light flesh And if you want, you can throw in a little white in there. <laughs> okay. I think you're kind of seeing how this is going. Oh, I forgot his little booty. Go in the darkest color here.
a little black. Back in with the red matter. And then back in with a little white on the tip. Just blend that around. Now we get a booty. <laughs> Okay, let's see, we have these, um, I don't know what these are, but we have three of those, so we're going to color them, go in with the matter, we'll do all three at one time, I don't know if you can see the third one, we'll pull it out a little so you can. Bring in the black. Bring in the uh, rose a little bit. Then we're just going to go in with the light flesh. Duster. Okay. They have the little mm, vines here, and we're just going to start with the dark on the top and go down with the light flesh. They just kind of add into nothing. Okay. Did we get this one all colored? I don't know if we did. That's just the light for it, flash I'm putting in there. There. <laughs> okay, what else do we have on here besides the mushrooms, which I know, I mean, we're going to do them all the same. Maybe the ones in the background might be a little darker than the ones in the front, but I mean, they're basically the same. The grass is all going to be done the same. We do have a couple of leaves here. So we'll throw a little of the matter in this area. And we'll bring in the medium flesh. Light flesh. The white. Black. I'm gonna throw in a little more of these veins. Kind of darken this side. Go back over it with the matter. I got a little smear there. Let's see if we can get that erased. That's why we use a little brush to wipe away the dust so you don't just smear the colors straight down onto the page. Go back in here with the um, medium flesh. I'm just gonna Try to get that blended a little better. Take that down the stem. Okay. 
and the leaves be done something like that. We might as well do the little fairy and then I will, uh, I guess I have a flower too. We'll do the little flare, <laughs> and do that flower too. So she's going to be done in light flesh. Uh, she doesn't seem to have um, much in the way of clothes. At least I can't see any, so we're just going to do her up in shades of skin tones. We're going to bring out some of this light flesh into her wings area. And we'll add some into some of this hair here we have. Okay, so she's just a solid uh, base coat of medium or light flesh. I'm going to go in with the medium flesh. Kind of give her some knees here, some ankles, little toes. Give her some shadow lines. So she has some kind of dimension to her. Shadow coming down because she has it in her hair. Okay. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the uh, rose carmine. bit of the matter. Just darken her up a little bit more up here. Now I'm going to go back in with all of the colors over again and just blend them up. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to bring in a little bit of the Prisma White and um, just kind of blend that in a little better. Lighten up underneath her eye a little bit and her chin. Okay. A little duster again. And we're going to... I don't know how well this black is going to work, so sneaking in a Prisma Black. Sorry, <laughs> I want to darken up her eye a little bit and I kind of need a little bit better pencil there. Okay, I think that worked all right. I'm going to throw in with the poly just some extra black. lines around here. Give her fluffier hair. And we're going to go in with the rose color. Kind of do the same thing. Okay. Go in with the matter. Let some of that color in. We've got a nice little wild hair here. We kind of have to do those flowers too, so let's just pick a color for those. Go in with the matter and kind of do a dark center on each one. And then just kind of bring the color out a little bit. Then we'll just take the white and kind of touch on each one of those petals. I might bring a Posca in and touch those up just a little bit more so you can see them a little better. Our little antenna up here, we're going in with the matter, the darkest color. And we'll take the black at the base there and bring some of that up. And just take the white and touch the tops. Okay. I will be doing an inking on the background and it'll be done probably in um, Victorian velvet, which will match these colors nicely. And we're going to kind of go over the wings and we might add a tiny bit of blue in there, but I'm not sure. I would like them to stand out a little more than they are right now. Oops, sorry. Okay, we're going to color this flower and we're going to do it the same as we did up in the hair. We're going to go in the middle, do it dark, and then just kind of bring some of the... darkness out and then we just go in with the white and touch up those petals a little okay back in with the black and just kind of go over the lines And there we go. I'm believing that's another flower piece there, so we'll just do the same thing. Put the dark out here. And then go in with the white and pull it out. Okay. 
Okay. So what I'll do is I will finish the mushrooms and the grass and everything, and then I will come back and we will do the background. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, we're back and I have finished the rest of the little blades of, well, mostly the blades of grass. I just noticed that these guys over here didn't get their last touch of color. And there's one over here. Of course, you know, I always miss something, right? <laughs> Should be a little blade of grass in there too. That's good enough. What I'm going to do is ink. And I picked the Victoria Velvet because it's going to match pretty well with everything that's here. And we're just going to take a um, ink pad here. Double check to make sure that uh, ink pad's clean enough. Doesn't have a different color on it. <laughs> Knowing me, I always double dip. So I'm just going to ink up the one portion of that. And we're going to lay it down into the blades of grass first. And then just kind of bring it up and out. You can go right over everything. And if you missed any little details, it will pick it up. Like I really didn't know how to end these uh, funky little grass pieces that just kind of went out into space. And this ink is going to cover that up so I don't have to worry about it. And there are some places here that don't have anything. <laughs> so we're just going to ink over those. Ink over everything here. And I did do another page in this book and added water to it and it works well. So we're going to do that. We're going to bring this ink up into the mushrooms this way. Get over here, and we're gonna go around her. I'm gonna try to avoid her wings, but if I get them, then that'll be okay. But I want to kind of leave those white, so they'll look a little more um, hmm, transparent. I'm gonna do this left-handed, boy. This will be interesting. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, maybe I won't be able to do it. <laughs> that way. And then darker down here. Around his head and around this area here. Okay. To run it over everybody, leaving some spots. I'm going to spritz some water and use a washcloth to wipe it up. Yes, I am. <laughs> Gotta find the water sprayer. There we go. It's just the uh, distress, distress sprayer that I always use. And I'm just going to spray down some water and lift up the ink. You won't be able to see it terribly well. This paper does kind of soak up or down into the paper. So you can see a little bit there. It will show up after it dries. We just want to get some of that water down there. And then wipe it up. And then we will have to take a little break while this dries. 
I want to show you the rest of what I'm going to do here and I have to wait until the whole page is no longer wet. So we will be back shortly and we will see what I did over on that side. <laughs> see how it soaks right into the paper. That's why you're getting that blue kind of color here. So it will dry and the ink will be lifted in those spots. So I'll be right back. Okay, for the most part, we're dry. And we're going to take the um, Distress Ink here with this little stamp that I like to use. And it's the... Um, I had to write it down. Itty Bitty Background Stamp from Stamping Up. It comes in a set of, I don't know, I think there are four of them. Different size dots. And we're just going to stamp it down. I'm going to stamp it off to make sure it doesn't have too much ink. And we're just going to, in this area down here, add a few of these kind of dots to speckle it up a little bit so it doesn't look like it just ends out of nowhere. So just in the grassy areas, I'm going to use it. Maybe up in here a little bit if I can get it up, but I'm not going to go up where the mushrooms are. Just down in here. Okay. Same color ink. That's what's going to do. Now for the upper part, I'm going to be using a little bit of Posca here. Shake it up really good. Make sure it works. We're going to add like a few lines and dots and stuff in here every now and again. I just have to figure out where I want to start. We'll go here. Up the mushroom stem. I'll do the ones that are in the front because the ones in the back I want to kind of leave in the background. Okay, so we'll just add the line, dot, whatever you want to put in there. And I think this one here, just try not to put your hand in what you just did. I do that all the time. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple of lines on there. We did her little uh, hand, we did this little, or headband and the little dots here on the flower. So we've got a couple of those in. Um, you could do it on blades of grass if you wanted to. These funky little things here. And so we've got one, two, three, four, and those are five, six, seven. We got an odd number, so that works good enough. I'm going to take uh, some of the folk art and we're going to put it on a plastic sheet. This is just a plastic cutting board from the dollar store, cut down into little tiny pieces. We're just going to put a little dab right there. And I mean a little dab because you don't need much. It's just a teeny little dab. We're going to get out my paintbrush. It should be here somewhere. There it is. Very well loved paintbrush. All the paint is coming off of it. <laughs> We're going to spritz a little water into that puddle of paint. So see it's quite wet. Get some of the paint in there. Just make sure it's nice and wet. It's got to come off the bristles. That's why you put so much water in there. And we're just going to tap it down into and around the mushrooms. It gets all over your desk. <laughs> so this may be for some people and not for others. I enjoy it, so I like to do it. If you just dip it into the uh, paint, you'll get bigger splatters. Just keep using it, turning the brush here and there, and you'll get less splatters, or smaller splatters, I should say. 
So do it until you're happy with the way it looks. Now, if you've put down your Distress Ink and you're not crazy about how one piece looks, say there's a dot someplace you didn't like or a section that you think could use a big dot, you just put one down. That one there, you can add them this way anywhere you want so they're not as random. Let's see if I wanted some up here or one on her wing or something, you can definitely put them wherever you wish them to be. I kind of like the randomness of the splattering, so... I just want to make sure I get it on every mushroom so they all kind of look the same. <laughs> yep, getting it all over me too. Okay, I think we are about done. I think I'll put one right about here. I like doing a set of three. <sighs> okay, we didn't get this area. And right about here would be a good spot too. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So have fun with it. Just, uh, you know, do whatever you like. That's what coloring is all about anyway. I think I'll stick a big one right there. Okay, so that is it. I will get a picture of this taken and added into... <laughs> I say it's it and I keep going. I like dots. Okay, <laughs> I'll get this at the end of the video after it dries. Thanks guys for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Monochromatic uh, page here. Uh, it's acrylic paint, so you can wash this right off the desk if you can get water to come out. It comes right off. So if you're worried about that. Anyway, I'll clean the desk up too. And I'll get a picture at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're not stressing out too much. Take care, everyone. Bye now.